Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first installment of the first video of my new channel, Bad Bell Sprout. That's my persona, and I will be playing Earthbound for you guys. Now, before I get into anything, I would very much like to just thank you all for stopping by and for uh, for uh, joining me on this adventure, because it really is a... Uh, it really is a uh, collaborative experience that we're going to be having here. I'll be helping you guys uh, experience this game if uh, you guys don't have access to it. And uh, you guys will be helping me. Maybe through comments, maybe through uh, likes, subscriptions, whatever you guys feel like doing. I'm just here to provide entertainment. And uh, before we get into this, I'd like to clarify some things because this being my first official playthrough um, is a really big deal uh, and I'd like to uh, explain to you exactly why I'm playing Earthbound of all the games out there why I'm playing Earthbound for my uh, for my first game um, well the reason I'm playing Earthbound for my first game is because a I've heard a lot of good things about this game um, even though it wasn't necessarily an immense commercial success when it was released, um, Earthbound, I mean, hell, the first, uh, the first in the Earthbound series, uh, Mother, wasn't even released outside of Japan. We only got the second one. So uh, you can tell that it wasn't exactly a uh, commercial success when it was initially released. However, everybody who plays it seems to just fall in love with this game. And... Uh, me personally, I'm very excited as to figure out why that is. Um, now, the second thing about this game that I really that really motivates me to want to play it is um, because I'm I'm an RPG fan myself. Like uh, I played um, particular Pokemon, as you can guess. I mean, my uh, my channel name's Bad Bell Sprout. Of course, he played Pokemon. But uh, that was my that was the series I really fell in love with, and uh, it was one of my first gaming experiences, and it really uh, it really introduced me to a whole new world and a whole new experience because uh, I I met some of my friends through my video game uh, through my video game uh, enjoyment, and uh, I I got to play a lot of great games after uh, the initial doors opened there. And uh, it was just it was just a really good time for me. So uh, without further ado, let's get in, into this, ladies and gentlemen. Mother Two, A.K.A. Earthbound. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so uh, tech speed, we're gonna want fast. Um, stereo, of course. Now I know this because I, uh, I came in to uh, set the controls so I actually know about this, but I still found this very funny. Um, 
that they actually allowed us to have this option because not many games do that. And I was having an internal debate between peanut flavor and plain flavor. In real life, I'm a very vanilla kind of guy. I love vanilla. Um, and uh, so, you know what? You know what? Let's switch it up. Let's go with let's go with peanut flavor. So uh, let's name our first character. Uh, let's call him. Uh, let's call him. Uh, you know what? Let's call him Bad. That's good. Oh wait. <laughs> no wait, I, I I made a mistake. I think I called him Yeah I did, I called him Bab. Uh my bad. <laughs> Hi hey. Yeah, that was uh, that was not on purpose, that pun. <laughs> Alright, so and okay. Alright, so let's name her. You know what? I'm fine with everybody else can uh, have their original names. So Paula, and that's okay. Pokiska. And then we'll have uh, we'll have uh, Jeff here. Good old Jeff. Pokiska. Oh man, I'm so excited about this, guys. I, you have no idea how long I've wanted to uh, play this game. Who? Oh, huh. that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, name my pet. Oh, my pet. My pet in real life. Her name is Bean. She's also a dog, but King King will work too, I guess. Okay, my favorite homemade food. Hmm. Now, my favorite homemade food, I guess, would probably have to be. Uh... <laughs> For now, let's just say toast, because although uh, you know it might not be the tastiest, I have toast. So much, you guys would not even believe. It. I have toast every day. I, I'll have days sometimes where all I eat is toast. My favorite thing. Um, let's just say games. It seems fitting, doesn't it? Playing games, uh, talking about games. I think that I think that's very fitting. So where's the yes? Games. Oh, we can even, you know, I'll add an exclamation mark in there, because I really like games. <laughs> okay. okay. Yep. Awesome. So here we go. The year is 1990X. Monet, a small town in Eagleland. Bad's house. <laughs> oh my god. Just sleeping away, just chilling. And now we're actually in the game, I guess. That was a that was a hell of an intro. Very cinematic. I can appreciate that. All right. Oh, what? The police! The police are on their way to get me. All right. So that's uh. Whoa. It either became day very quick or somebody has a dimmer switch. I can talk to a plan? What? <laughs> Who are you talking to? That's a good question. Can I... Ooh, there's uh, Paula. I think her name's Paula. Let's talk to Paula. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I don't know. I think it's safe to say that yes. They woke me up. Hey, what's this? Is that a... Can I check that? I open the present. There's a cracked bat inside. I, I take the bat. Okay, so I have a bat now. Uh, just gonna borrow this, Paula. Don't you, uh, don't you worry. <laughs> I'll return it. I won't return it, guys. It's okay. You don't have to worry. 
<laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll return it later. I don't want to go I don't want to go stealing things right off the bat. That's not a good way to start a game. And who uh what was that noise? Bad you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? <laughs> what? Uh and now you want to go check it out? Oh. Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. I'm assuming that's my mom. Oh. Hey, now I'm in that classic, classic Ness outfit. Hey. Just, just baller as hell. Just, just baller as hell. I know. I love the, I love the art in this game. It's so... It's so stylistic. It's it's great. I uh, I really love games that have a really good sense of art direction. Let's talk to the dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Is my dog saying that, or is that a random fact? I think that's a I think that's a I think that's a random fact. Let's go out into the world, shall we? Whoa. Some uh, no problem here. Some weird music, man. Sounds like a tractor beam or something. <laughs> Who are you talking to? That's a good point. I'm gonna probably talk to a lot of people, just uh, just because I really like getting immersed in every in everybody in the game. I want to return home. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. So it's a meteorite. So a meteorite crashed. Interesting. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Onate police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. Really? You close them that often? Then again, I guess the world record can't be that high. Don't panic! It's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who? Uh, fell. I just wanna... What? Go home. Well, that was really weird. I'm gonna just talk to this car. <laughs> Maybe not. Um... Who's this guy? Oh, he looks... Oh, this guy. This guy looks... This guy looks snazzy. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Well, you should probably, you know, move if you want to do that. So, uh... Let's just... Okay, let's cut the talking. Let's see if we can actually get to this thing. Let's see if we can find it. Is it behind the houses? It's not behind my house. Let's see if uh see if we can find it. I wonder what kind of if this is like a radioactive meteorite or uh or if it'll if I touch it will it give me superpowers or something. You know what, we don't need to talk to the policeman. Maybe we can just bypass them. Wow. That is some lax security. They uh they really do not care that this, like, young boy is just, la-di-da, gonna go check out this potentially radioactive meteorite. Oops. Sorry there, Mr. Policeman. I really wonder what this is, uh, what's gonna be the deal with this meteorite. I'm very, I'm very interested. Bad open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Bad takes it. I love bread rolls. <gasps> Maybe I can make some toast. Friggin' love toast, man. You don't even get it. You don't even understand. You know what? Uh, let's talk to this guy. He looks interesting. Hey, bad. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my... Oh, by the way, bad, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know? I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? <laughs> Probably because you're crazy as hell. Trisher Hunter, this is Lear X at Jarriot's house. Weird. Wait, is that it? Ooh, I can see it. We're almost there. Let's, uh, hey, bad. Let's talk to this guy. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I'm an officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. How about you calm the hell down? 
Clear out, get out of the way, clear out, get out of the way, clear out, get out of the way, whoops, my mistake. I meant get out of the way. Clear out of way out, get my, wow, I didn't even catch that. All right, so something tells me we're not going to be able to get through there. Might just have to maybe see if there's a back way. How do we even, how do we even get through there? What? Yeah, okay. How do we... Wait a minute, what? How... How do we... How do I... How do I cliffside? How do I cliffside? Who's that guy and why does he get to see the meteorite? Maybe if we talk to these guys, they'll let us through. Shh, shh. Shush what? Was I even talking? Nice timing, bad. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? I... I guess? And you live in the house next to his. I see. Maybe if I talk to Boki, he can... Okay, maybe if I talk to him, he'll just leave. You can go home ne tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, fine, 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 fine. Um, all right, so... Weird, how do we... How do we get through here? Huh. I have no idea. Maybe if we talk to some of these guys... A meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. <laughs> what a weird guy. Then again, uh, then again, I guess that uh, probably a lot of these guys are a little uh, peculiar. I wonder if there's like a secret way to get up there, or maybe I'm just being a dumbass and can't can't even see it. Can I can I walk? Can I walk here? Is that a thing I can? Nope, can't walk there. Um, can't walk there either. God damn. Uh, okay, we'll have to see, um, I want to see if, <laughs> Jesus, I should not be getting stuck this early. This is like the first episode. I, uh, I, oh God, that's a, what a way to show your video game prowess. Uh, that is not, that is not something you want to have go happen on your first playthrough. Uh, anyways, let's talk to mom. Maybe she has some advice. Welcome home, bad. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Let's get off to bed now. Sure. Let's go to bed. Let's see if it'll reset in the morning or something. Later that night. Could that be? It's the, wow, okay. Alright. Some weird knocking. Alright. Don't need to talk to Paula. Just in case she notices her bat's gone. Hide behind the chair, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Hey, Pokey. How you doing? That's a very dramatic entrance. Hey, l l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> Snicker? Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know what I'm gonna... I know I'm gonna get it. You're my best friend. Won't you help me, Picky? Help me find Picky. I'm like, I'm not Picky. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? That's weird. Alright. Let's talk to her. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. It always puts me back to my room. It's a good thing we got that bat. I'm sorry, Paula. I'm probably not going to give you back that bat. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. The Pretty much the only knowledge I have of like Ness as a character and his like attire and his bat and his style is like from Super Smash Bros and like that's it. 
apart from that, I don't really have much else to go on. Sorry about giving you this game type advice, but you should equip your weapon. I love that! Fourth wall break. Do you know what equip means? Uh, yeah. Let's say that. Okay, that's good. Be sure to pay attention to details like that. Alright, you get out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey, join the party. Pokey joins you. Cool. So, maybe we can... Whoa. Can we equip that? Yeah, let's equip that. Let's do a weapon. Cracked bat. Okay, cool. And we can use that during using E. Or maybe I'm reading that wrong. How do I... Huh. Maybe that... Oh, I, oh, I guess I can only really use it in combat. Who's that? Who's that? Let's talk to. Bad answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. <laughs> it's Bad's dad. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know, you're that, I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. He seems a little young to have an ATM card. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> That's awful. It's kind of evil. Slam. Beep. Awesome. So, we just we just started this massive adventure. We got Pokey by our side, and you know what? I think I think now I'll uh, I'll save the game. Bad picked up the receiver. Bad, it's your dad. Well, experience to get to the next level. Bad four. Anyway, what do you what do you need from me? Record. All done. Your dear old dad also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night and sleep tight. So guys, I think I'll end that here. I think that's that's a good way to start off our adventure. Or uh, next episode we'll set out and find that meteor, but for now. I think uh, we're comfortable ending it here, so uh, catch you guys on the flip side. This is Bad Bell Sprout signing out. Peace, guys.